Come out, my little beauties. Sorry, Mr. Wilson. I guess I lost my head. Thanks to you, I nearly lost mine and almost crushed my pigeons at the same time. Pigeons? Like the ones in the park? Exactly. Please, Mr. Wilson, you don't have to eat pigeons from the park. You're fat enough already. Will you stop that, Dennis? I'm not going to fry them. I'm going to fly them. Huh? These are racing pigeons. I'm going to race them. <laughs> Seem fair. Did you know that in the Civil War they used pigeons to carry messages? Really? Wow! For instance, Lulu here, I could take her way out into the country, set her free, and she'd find her way straight home. Gee, can I hold Lulu while we drive out there? Well, you'd have to be very careful and... Wait a minute. Who said we were going anywhere? You did. Oh! Don't be afraid to fly home to Mr. Wilson, Lulu. He looks mean, but he's actually a big old softy. Hmm. Okay, Dennis, here we are. Now you'll see what Lulu can do. I'll just get the rest of the equipment. Hmm. All the doors are locked. Of course. I locked all the doors. Mom always says you can't be too careful. What? The keys are still inside. We'll never get home! Dennis, what are you doing? I'm sending a message for Mrs. Wilson to come get us. Like you used to do in the Civil War. That's not how to do it. Go on. what you've done. Don't worry, Mr. Wilson. I'll climb up and save Lulu. No way. I'll do it. Okay, now. Dennis, watch carefully and remember this. In these cases, you've got to know exactly what you're doing. Oh, great! What else could go wrong? That! Yay! <laughs> I'll have you free in a minute. How's that feel, Lulu? Now fly straight home and let Martha know what has happened. There you go. Don't dilly-dally along the way. Help. Where? Actually, a big old softy. Hmm, why does that sound so familiar? It's okay to come down now, Mr. Wilson. Come on down, quick! Dennis, if I move even a little bit, the branch will break off! You say he got stuck up there trying to send a message with a pigeon? Yeah, he learned how in the Civil War. What's that? Oh my goodness, they've even got a fire truck here. George? Martha? I rushed right over as soon as I heard. So Lulu got the message to you after all? No, we saw you on the three o'clock news. The three o'clock news? Well, Mr. Wilson, anything to say to other pigeon fanciers out there? Go lay an egg. Ouch. 
another experiment, PB? What is it this time? Merely something that will make a name for me in science textbooks around the world. You discovered a way to keep ice cream from melting so fast. No, but that's not a bad idea. I must work on that. But until then, behold my latest invention, the clone booth. What's a clone? A duplicate. This apparatus can make an exact replica of any living thing. Let me demonstrate. Did you bring your mouse? He's right here. His name is Benson. You're not going to hurt him, are you? Of course not. The electromagnetic field generated by Benson's galvanic resonance will merely create a duplicate image. I don't blame you, Benson. I'd be nervous, too, if I were about to meet my brand new twin brother. Better put these on. Here goes. Whoa! That's it. It's done. Oh, wow! You turned Benson into quintuplets. Sorry, I guess I turned it up too high. What are we going to do now? I'll have to make an adjustment. And I'd better take Benson home. But which one is Benson? Don't you understand, Dennis? They're all Benson. I'd better catch them all. Come back here, you. No, Dennis, don't. What happened? Nothing, I hope. There, I got all of them. Thanks for making clones of Benson, PB. Now he's got some friends to play with. I'm sure glad Dennis didn't suffer any ill effects. what I was afraid might happen. Hi, Petey. Oh, no. What's the matter, Petey? Aren't you happy to see us? See, there are four of us. Your invention works. Oh, no, this is terrible. If you boys will just be patient, I'll have you uncloned in just a jiffy. Forget it, Peavy. This is too much fun. And that goes double for me. See you around. Wait, fellas. Hold on. <gasps> what an unexpected development. I'd better alert the real Dennis. Dad said I can't keep you guys inside the house, so you'll have to stay out here. Hi, Dad. Dennis, didn't you hear me? I told you not to bring any mice in here. Gee, Dad, you never said anything to me about it. Young man, you know what happens when I catch you lying. For that, you'll go straight to your room and stay there. What a place. I don't even get a fair trial. Hi, Dad. Young man, I thought I just sent you to your room. Must have been some other guy. I just got here. Do you think I don't remember what I just said? Now this time you'll stay here until I say you can leave. You too? Maybe I'm losing my mind. Hi, Mom. Hello, Dennis. <gasps> Hi, Mom. Hello, Dennis. Henry? Yes, Alice? How many children do we have? Just one, dear, although some days he seems like half a dozen. I guess this is one of those days. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Hi, Dennis. Hello, Dennis. <laughs>
Something's the matter with me today. I guess I've punished Dennis long enough. Nice going. Got it. Good catch. Throw it here. Fun. Huh? What's wrong, dear? You look so strange. Quick! How many Dennises do you see out there? Only four, dear. Only four? <laughs> Dad, can I go out and play now? Alice, I'm afraid to ask this, but who said that? And I'm afraid to tell you. That's what I was afraid of. Dennis, is that you? Hey, PB, what's new? What's new is four new Dennises. When you ran through the cloning apparatus, it made four duplicates of you. You mean there are four other me's running around? Precisely. Oh, this is awful. It sure is. If you were Lem, which you happen to be, where would you go? That's easy. I'd go to Margaret's. Let's go. <laughs> This is awful! Margaret, how did this happen? One Dennis is bad enough, but four of them? As you can see, four uninvited guests dropped in, and they were all named Dennis! Well... They certainly did a lot of damage. I tell you, PB, it was a nightmare! Hi, Margaret! Eek! You're back! Where do you think we should try next? Where else? Mr. Wilson's house. Yeah. Hi, Mr. Wilson. Got anything to eat? In the kitchen. Huh? Let's see if there's any goodies. What we need are some cookies. What? This must be part of the dream. All I have to do is wake up and it'll be over. Hey, Mr. Wilson, where do you keep the cookies? Yeah, we've got the munchies. Hey, guys, I found them. I was wrong. It's not a dream. It's a nightmare. Hmm, <laughs> these things are good. They sure are. I hope this works. Did you hear that? It's the ice cream man. Mr. Wilson, can we have some money for ice cream? Uh, it's in my other pants, upstairs. Great. We'll help you get, get it. Hey, hey, stop. Put me down. Whoa! Here's a dollar each. Gee, thanks, Mr. Wilson. Now I can finally get back to waking up. They fell for it. They think I'm the ice cream man. Up, Dennis. Here they come. Yeah, it's down here. Oh boy, ice cream. <laughs> well, so much for the clones. Can I keep them for souvenirs? Sure, if you want. Ouch! Thank heavens that dream finally ended. I mean, one Dennis is bad enough. But... Sorry if we caused any trouble, Mr. Wilson. It's all my fault. Five of them? Ah. I wonder what happened to him. Maybe he ought to get more sleep. Joey, why didn't you 
loose, and it might bump it out. If you go to the dentist, he'll pull it right out. I'm scared of dentists. Aw, oh, they don't hurt. Besides, you get money from the Tooth Fairy. I'm even more scared of the Tooth Fairy. Come on, Dennis. We're waiting for you at the baseball field. Or are you two chickens play us? Heck no. We're ready, aren't we, Joey? Just a minute. We are now. Later, my anti-gravitational servo capacitator, and the most important scientific achievement of all, a four-leaf clover for luck. Oh, I'm in big trouble. There, my robot tooth puller is finished. And so am I. I'll handle this. Whoa! Hey, this ain't fair. Come on, Joey. You won't feel a thing. Will he be? I just invent him. I don't guarantee him. <laughs> Maybe we should test it first. And I know just who to try it out on. Just a little sleep, yeah. You may proceed with the extraction. Peavy, how did you know Mr. Wilson had false teeth? Gee, I didn't. See how easy that was, Joey? Get it. Nobody's gonna pull out all of my teeth. Wait, Joey, come back. Here we go again. Here somewhere, PB. Ah, there's nothing like a nap to give a person an appetite. Ah, a nice ripe apple will hit the spot. Oh. George, are you all right? George Wilson, you know better than to eat an apple without your dentures. Somebody stole my teeth. Huh? There they are. Come back with those, you bag pestered bandits! Yes, sir! Help, police! Paramedics! Martha! There's Joey! Why, hello, Joey. Do you have a toothache? <laughs> Sorry, wrong office. Wait, Joey, what's wrong? You in here, PB. Oh! My tooth! It came out! And I'll bet it didn't hurt a bit. You're right! I didn't feel a thing. See that, Joey? All this time you were afraid of nothing. Why, Dennis, you're just in time for your checkup. Checkup? Come along, it won't hurt a bit. Or maybe I ought to come back next week. Or even next month. Or better still, next year. <laughs> 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 